Did you hear that uh, Latoya Cantrell went to Dubai a weekend ago or last week? Yeah, I heard. Um, our mayor's in Dubai. Um, mm. Our mayor's in Dubai. Um, they um, should have a Sun Woman Mayor Convention in somewhere insanely I, I think expensive. It is. I think just having, I think just having a a mayor convention is a Sun. Yo, woman. they no shit. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Let's see, man. City under siege tonight. Mayor Muriel Bowser pushing back now against critics who have asked why she was on a trip to Dubai last week while the D.C. Council was taking up her latest crime bill. Fox 5's Tom Fitzgerald live at the Wilson Building for us this evening. Fitz, you actually asked the mayor about this today. Yeah, we did. And, you know, this one wasn't that complicated. We wanted to know from the mayor that she could explain why she was overseas at a conference when here at the Wilson building, the D.C. Council was actually taking up a crime bill that she authored, which she said was important for turning the tide of the crime crisis in this city. Now, this bill was called the Addressing Crime Trends Act, and what it would do is target open air drug markets. It would also crack down on these flash mobs of shoplifting that we've seen throughout the area. And it was also reinstate the penalties, which used to make it against the law to wear a mask while a person was committing a crime. Now, while the D.C. Council last week was working on this bill, the mayor was in Dubai at a United Nations climate conference. Now, one of the things we asked her <laughs> yeah, a bunch of sun system airs took a bunch of fucking jets first class on the taxpayer dollar to go to a fucking climate concert in dubai you heard that right kid me man unbelievable sounds about right to me the pushback of this was it proper for her to be overseas when what she herself had deemed such an important piece of legislation was being heard by the council that's what the mayor had to say today. I don't know who said that, but you know what my job was in that respect was to put a bill before the council um, that, in my opinion, uh, closes gaps in very necessary ways, and it lets the police do their jobs. So, Fitz, could her absence last week put the bill in any trouble with the council, or is this just a case of, of perception and bad optics? Well, you know, it's a good question. It, it probably will not affect the outcome of this legislation. You know, however, bad optics, you know, are certainly part of this. Fox 5 spoke with D.C. Council member Robert White today, and he used that exact term. And he said, you know, for his part, it wasn't just bad optics. In his view, it went further. He said it was bad leadership, you know, especially at a time when he, in his own words, that the city was in a crime crisis right now. You know, he believed that from the top down, a message had to be sent that, you know, addressing crime is a priority. Now, the mayor did say that today uh, and, you know, gave a spirited defense of this legislation, saying what she really wants to do is reverse policies that have gone on the last couple of years, which have, in her view, caused some of these crime trends that we're seeing right now. But the bottom line, mayor wasn't apologizing for this trip. In fact, she says, she thinks people care more about what's in the legislation rather than where she was when the D.C. Council was taking up work on this legislation last week. All right, Tom Fitzgerald for us. I'm surprised the uh, sister from Illinois, Mayor, what's her name, ain't, ain't down there in Dubai, too, <laughs> for the climate change. She with the whole, <laughs> the whole entourage of uh, <laughs> <laughs> a <laughs> <laughs> lingo entourage. A little entourage of shit. Ten yeah, guys, whatever the fuck yeah. that's that. Yeah, she she would have had the biggest entourage of, of <laughs> all the fans. Yeah, her town is living twenty thousand people. That, shit is that crazy. was funny as shit. That was New funny. Six, Mayor Latoya Cantrell. New at six, Mayor Latoya Cantrell is set to make another overseas trip. Her office is telling us that she'll travel to Dubai for the United Nations Climate Change Conference. It's going on now through December twelfth. Cantrell will take part in several panels, meetings, and events there. She plans to return to New Orleans on December 7th. <laughs> oh, she's still out there. <laughs> <laughs> this shit is unbelievable. This man. is while she's under ethics investigation for the fucking spree of trips before. Like, 
They're just rubbing it in America's face. Sisters, man. <sighs> Turn to crime in the region. We've been talking about this a lot, obviously, because of the uh, incessant nature of crime in our area. In particular, it has become a focal point of residents in the District of Columbia this week. Mayor Muriel Bowser's latest crime bill is before the council. Now, D.C. said 40 percent increase in violent crime just this week. An FBI agent was carjacked at gunpoint. I want to welcome back in a longtime friend of this program, Robert McCartney. He's a longtime Washington Post columnist and correspondent. Uh, and is Salute to Empty Empty, man. She, um, she says, cleaning is done and oven is off. Good night, all. Oh. Yeah, man, all you ladies, make sure you get that cleaning done yeah, or else, get, man. Get that glass up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, Under the candle light. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We don't want to, we don't want to have, um, you know, we don't want the police to have to come back out here, man. Currently the host of Think Regionally uh, podcast from the Metropolitan uh, 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 Council of Governments. Bob, good to see you again. Good to see you. Uh, before we get into the numbers here, people have talked about, comparing to what we're going through right now to, you know, back 30 years ago. Are there echoes of it to you? you well, there's, you, there's an, here for it. Yeah, there's an increase in crime right now, in violent crime right now, which is very dramatic and getting a lot of attention. Mm -hmm. But it hasn't come anywhere near the same levels as we had during the crack epidemic. Mm -hmm. the, the, the levels then, the numbers then were much higher than now. But since there's been a big decrease since then over the last you know 20 30 sure. years now that it's rising so much it's gotten a lot of people worried and it's putting a lot of pressure on bowser and the council and you know we should point out there are some trends that are going on now that weren't going on you know 30 years ago so so this is the crime trends now amendment act it calls for cracking down on open air drug markets drug free uh, zones making organized retail theft a felony and illegal to wear a mask for the purposes of committing a crime. You know, obviously this is, you know, these two I think are something that we've heard before. We did it before. Yeah, yeah we and, did it before. Mm -hmm. uh, this is kind of a, a new trend. So I'd like to kind of start here. We're talking about, especially on this one, these, you know, large groups of people coming into stores and just throwing their arms down the shelves and pouring this stuff. And, you know, the store employees have been told, let this happen. Some stores have taken to the point of putting pictures of their items on the shelves because they don't want to have the items on there to be tempting to steal it to begin with. Thanks, Sun People. Is this something <clears throat> that big cities in particular are going to have to start dealing with now across the country? Absolutely. And national retail groups have raised the alarm about this. This is happening all over the country. You get gangs of people wearing masks. I mean, we've all seen them because of the store security videos. Mm -hmm. And they go in, they go quickly. They often have hammers. They smash the glass cases. They like to steal jewelry or mm -hmm. very valuable purses or coats, stuff like that. And they do it. it the new phenomenon here, the new thing here is that you've got organized gangs doing it. And that bill that you just showed, that's Mayor Bowser's proposed bill. Right. And it, it would actually, I think for the first time, make these kind of organized gang retail thefts a felony, which they haven't been before. While this bill was introduced this week, the D.C. Council put, picked it up. Mm. Wow. Hey, uh, what's up, y'all? What's going on? Hey. I just came to defend uh, my mayor, Muriel Bowser, man. She been trying to address the crime shit for the past 10 years. These goofy ass activists and these goofy ass city council been trying to block her every way. Mm -hmm. So fuck them. Fuck everybody who got shit to say about her because at least she's tried. And, and professionally, DC is one of the greenest cities in America. It's the capital of the United States everybody she has every right to be there just yeah she, she got way everybody. more of a right than cantrell does I, I yeah, was exactly. saying, it's at least a better look having a crime bill on the table while you're out yeah. there yeah no these 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 bitches in the motherfucking the council did just this year we're talking about minimizing sentences on some serious crimes now nah, fuck everybody who got shit to say she she ain't never been on that none of that goofy shit mm -hmm. i mean whatever she, she's still a sun sister guy so <laughs> the same issue but she she ain't this, this city is is goofy son this this is this is this is not she ain't, ain't nothing she could do she, i don't think she should be sitting here with these 
retarded ass people, some people destroying the city. She go to Dubai, bitch. Get fucking <laughs> go chill out. The mayor of DC <laughs> is pretty death. much a senator, like in terms of power. Yeah, I mean, she, like, she, yeah. she does. She does like represent over like internationally. Right. Yeah. Exactly. She for as far as professional job description, she actually should be there. These other sisters don't. I don't know about them. <laughs> Just her. Well, that mysterious death investigation, Fox 5 broke.